This is a brief instruction on how not to die in the zombie apocalypse world. Well, with you as always Papa Lego. Let's go! Last time we managed to survive the outbreak of the epidemic. Today we will imagine a situation where a zombie virus has been raging around for a long time. You lived quietly in a new settlement of survivors, but one day you were attacked by a gang of bandits. They killed your friends and kidnapped you to make you a slave. But you managed to escape during one of the convoy stops. Now you are in the middle of the forest without clothes, weapons, or food. Where to go now and what to do? Be sure to watch the video to the end, because many of these tips can be useful even in everyday life. First of all, let's determine the purpose of our further movement. You know that several hundred kilometers from here there is a military camp of survivors with which your settlement used to maintain contact. The plan is good, but for a long journey you need to prepare. We need to find food, weapons, and equipment. First of all, while constantly walking straight, try to reach the road. Walking along it you will come to a settlement or gas station. A gas station outside the city will be a great option for finding basic items. There will not be many zombies in them, but there is a high probability that there will be no valuable items left in it either. Along the way you can pick mushrooms and berries, but this should only be done if you understand them. After walking for several hours, you manage to get to a gas station. But to start looting, you will need a weapon and a backpack. The simplest equipment can be made from available materials. You can knit a primitive bag from a shirt or t-shirt. Let's make a simple melee weapon by putting several stones in socks and tying them to a strong stick. Now you have a chance not to die when meeting zombies. Someone will say that you can make a bow and arrows, but without tools you can't make a good bow, and without shooting skills you won't hit a zombie if it's further than 5 meters. Before you go, watch from afar for a while. Perhaps you will be able to notice the enemy before he notices you. Having assessed the situation, dash towards the goal. Before entering, find alternate escape routes and try to explore the room by looking through the windows look around the building. Perhaps you can find something interesting. Great! A few empty plastic bottles and a fireman's shovel were your first catch. When viewing buildings, do not walk along the wall. There may be a zombie just around the corner. Walk at a safe distance. Watch where you are stepping and try not to make noise. Once inside the gas station, you manage to find a road map, an old lighter, a pack of batteries, a small pocket knife, and a pack of condoms. Oh yes, they will indeed be very useful in our situation. You can carry water in them, hide matches or a lighter from the rain, or use them as a tourniquet. What is this? There's some noise in the back room. It's a zombie. Luckily, there is a high barrier between you, so don't waste time, take your new shovel, and smash the head of this walking dead man. Great! Now let's quickly examine the utility room. In the first aid kit there was still a piece of bandage, a package of indigestion tablets, and an antiseptic. It contains alcohol, so it can be used to treat a wound and even start a fire. Don't try this at home. Wow! Apparently, it was a gas station worker. His backpack and work clothes remained here. This is a good catch, but it's time to get out of here. Whoa! A zombie from the street came in response to the noise. It almost cost you your life. If you don't have a partner to watch your back, take care of it yourself. Having found a safe place, you can change clothes and choose the next destination of the route. A couple of kilometers from here, there is a small village. There is a police station in it and there should be a well with water. Having reached the village and examined it from afar, you decided to first check the police station and then inspect the neighboring houses. Moving quietly and in dashes, we first look through the window and then go inside. You can also find interesting things in police cars, but now there are a lot of zombies next to her. Quickly search the room, and don't forget to check the situation outside. Keys, handcuffs, old newspapers. We don't need all this, but the walkie-talkie will be useful to us. The police flashlight, it's so good. We just have batteries. Gun. True, there are no cartridges for it, but this is already a good start. Damn! That is why you must first check the room for danger and only then collect the loot. The loud noise has attracted the dead outside, so it's time to get out of here. Having walked around the building, you ran to the neighboring house. The door was not locked. Apparently the residents managed to leave at the beginning of the epidemic. Oh no! The owner of the house had a different fate. However, this is good news for you. Now you have a hunting rifle and some cartridges in a box, but use it only against bandits and crowds of zombies. It's better to kill single zombies quietly without making a lot of noise. Loud shots can be heard several kilometers away. There is some noise upstairs. When leaving this house behind, it's best to check it out so there are no surprises wow. later. Scary. 
Apparently, this is the poor guy's wife. Now it's clear why he didn't leave. If he was a hunter, then there may be other useful loot in the house. Great. In the closet there were binoculars and a good hunting knife. It's time to move on to the next house. Here the door was already closed. But after checking the windows, you found one open on the second floor. After checking the house, you were convinced that there was no one inside, and everything was quiet on the street. In one of the closets you found a fishing rod and fishing tackle. Nearby there was a small tourist tent. These are very useful things. If they are here, it means the owner of the house is walking somewhere nearby on the street. This is why the countryside is better for you than the city. There are fewer zombies here, and many fishermen and hunters used to live in the villages. We'll also wear a warm sweater under the jacket. It's already very cold outside at night. Village houses often have storage rooms. There could be food left in them. This is where a new flashlight will help you. The pantry was almost empty, but you managed to find some tins of canned food and marinade. Things are becoming too much. This is good, but you need to find a place where you will hide things for the upcoming journey. You need a cache. Let's grab a few large plastic bags for this. Once outside, let's go look around the backyard. Nice! There is a woodpile here, with an axe for chopping wood. In a fight with zombies, it will be more reliable than a shovel. And there is a village well. Now we can fill our bottles with water. But if possible, boil or filter the water first. The well may be spoiled, and then you will be poisoned. A water filter can be made from a rag, a bottle, sand and charcoal. And what's that? Car. After examining it, you discovered that the battery was completely discharged and the spark plug was damaged. Now you won't drive away on it, but it can be restored. And that's good news for you. Also in the car were several working tools, a spare tire and a waste bag. We'll take the bag with us and leave the tools in the car for now. What is that sound? Chicken. Someone's in for a delicious dinner. Oh yeah. Crap. The hunter quickly became the prey. Almost died. You must always remain alert and not relax. It's time to leave here. Today we will eat canned food. The day is coming to an end, and it is necessary to arrange an overnight stay. An excellent place would be a small forest lake a couple of kilometers from the village. First of all, let's collect brushwood and firewood for the fire. Then we will set up the tent. To make it warmer, we can use several pine branches as bedding. Save the canned food for the road. Dig up some worms and try to catch some fish. Since you are spending the night alone, it is necessary to set up an alarm around the camp. Use fishing line and tin cans. Stretch a fishing line between the trees hanging a tin with several pebbles on it. This will wake you up if uninvited guests enter the camp. After setting up camp and eating a hot dinner, you went to sleep in the tent. But after a while you woke up from the noise of the alarm. Someone has broken into the camp. It doesn't look like a zombie. This is a bear. Apparently, he came to the smell of food. He doesn't see you yet. It is best to remain quiet and wait for the bear to leave. Don't try to shoot a bear. There is a chance that you will miss and simply injure him and then he will definitely get angry and kill you. And it's better to save your cartridges. As you expected, the bear left. However, he tore your backpack while trying to get food and trampled cans of supplies. For this reason, when going to bed, take things with you into the tent. The next morning, after looking at the map, you decided to go to an industrial zone with a car repair shop on the outskirts of a small town 10 kilometers from you and look for parts for the car there. Taking only the essentials, you packed the remaining things into bags. You buried one of them in a place that you can find. And the second one was hidden nearby on a tree. It's time to hit the road. After walking for several hours and arriving at the place, you discovered that the auto repair shop had completely burned down. Then you decided to inspect the nearby buildings. But here another unpleasant surprise awaited you. Zombie dogs, and they have already noticed you. This is where your gun comes in handy. You managed to shoot back, but you made a lot of noise, so now you need to hurry. Several empty boxes and old wheels. Apparently today you will return empty-handed. Shot. Immediately fall to the ground and crawl to cover. Only after that look where the shooting is coming from. They're shooting at you. Exactly. This bastard is hiding behind the boxes near the building opposite. A few shots in response so that the enemy ducks behind the boxes and in these few seconds we quickly run around the corner of the building. Bent down we walk along the wall so that you cannot be seen in the windows. We step from heel to toe and look where we are stepping. Let's go quickly, but quietly. We peek around the corner, bending down, with just our heads and weapons. We do not come close to the corner so that the barrel of the weapon does not give you away. And most importantly, we listen. Here it's. The enemy is around the corner. Aim. Shot. We immediately check to see if there is a partner. And of course, a control shot to the head. Having dragged the body around the corner, we quickly examine it. 
Submachine gun with disc magazine. There is a spare magazine in the jacket. The backpack was not damaged by the shot. We'll check what's inside later. What's in your pocket? Car keys. This means there is a car somewhere nearby. Yes, that's him. Where are you from here? Bro, are you left here all alone? Will you come with me to a good place?